Retro, retro, <laughs> Metro retrograde. <laughs> Metro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to your favorite podcast. Mm-hmm. Your, your, mo- mo- <laughs> your, <laughs> your mama's favorite podcast, aka your maternal units podcast of preference. What? Huh? It's your boy, I seen black, aka black dynamite, aka way Bixby, aka samurai black, what aka huh? always bet on black, aka. Holy Puck Roaches, a.k.a. <laughs> Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga. We're, we're missing dr- uh, oh, dramatic. No. Okay. We're missing dramatics, <laughs> uh, uh, percussions. Oh, yeah, man. He's, Word. He, he kills it on them Congos, man. Word. And this E is Flaco Zulu, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. Sir Black Silent III, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. A. No more A.k. Stop the violence. Boop, boop. And man. Gotta find another Word. sound in a boop, boop. <laughs> Word. And it's, and it's only two. This episode. It's, have we have we done an episode with yo, just the both of us? I don't know, man, but it's been shrinking. Word. Yo, but hey, what up, man? What's happening, bro? Yo, yeah, like you my dog, man. Regular handshake. All right. <laughs> my brother. We're happy and we're singing ever. ever. We're not going to do that. Because you know you love us singing, but anyway. Exactly. All right. So Do we some, have a show for you today? Some, word. On some Black Power Ranger shit. Yeah. Word. Literally. Word. Speaking of... Them dreads can't fit in that helmet. Word. Speaking of running up on some aliens. Ha! <laughs> 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 Yes, David. Yo, speaking of running up, <laughs> talk the talk. No, this should be all summer campy. <laughs> <laughs> this feels. So, like- so somebody created a, a Facebook invite of <laughs> like let's everyone let's let's run up on Area Fifty One, and uh, I think they, they, they were to see them aliens, <laughs> and, and they put on there. <laughs> They just put on there. They can't get all of us. <laughs> I was that was gonna be my question. Like, so they're just gonna shoot you because if you get within a certain amount of feet miles Word. of the gate, somebody the one you get took taken took him taken out. Word, but <laughs> the the <laughs> the invite got one point five million people saying they're going. I gotta be honest. I thought you were gonna give me a larger number, man. <laughs> no. That's one part. One point five confirmed they're going. Oh, another uh, another mill and a half said they're probably going, and I think another like mill said they're interested. <laughs> so, so, so uh, like, how many people are in the U.S.? Let's uh, see, because like <laughs> that, like, first of all, how 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 much does a million people? What does a million people look like from a bird's eye view, bro? <laughs> like, can they? Do they have enough snipers to just? For, to, first they, of all, <laughs> if if it's couple people, that's an easy decision. All right, they're just gonna come up missing in the desert. So according to over stati- oh, a, a million and a half people run up, somebody gotta make a decision. It's like <laughs> yeah. who's going in the front? Who's not gonna get to see the aliens? Word. Either <laughs> nah, either we cull a good portion of our population, or we just let them see this shit. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna take us out. Oh yeah, they're gonna bomb. Oh, yeah. they're gonna bomb out. They're like, yeah, no, just hit the red the button. Military, them. <laughs> like we can't. They've we, been they've been itching they to push that button. Though is our wish. It was like this you is know, the time Johnson pushed the button. Other people do it in subtle ways. China was only letting people have one baby. <laughs> Invite everyone to Area Fifty One. Mm-hmm. Push a button. Word. What if it's an inside job, Word. my brothers and sisters? Word. I'm not gonna go there. Hey, for that one, <laughs> reaching, like, reaching. <laughs> like one of our producers says, if it does happen, to, the <laughs> the property value go drop. Maybe go <laughs> buy buy some houses for cheap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
hundred years come later, a hundred years later is gonna be Area Fifty One State Park. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be after, trees I, in the desert after <laughs> September twentieth. Because <laughs> people, I, I'd imagine they're coming from all over the country. <laughs> Oh yeah, after, after, I, I would imagine that once this gets overseas, like what's well, already overseas, it's not right. Right. after September twentieth, you'll be able to find a three two for cheap. <laughs> 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 they gonna be auctioning that shit off. How half our tenants gone? <laughs> we don't know. We've got this three two started at five thousand five hundred dollars. Radioactive, radioactive three two, radioactive five thousand five dollars. Going all over here. Can I get a two thousand two thousand dollar? Nobody gonna bid because it's radioactive. Blah, blah, blah. I can't do this shit. <laughs> That's it was, it was pretty good. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Maybe I missed my calling. <laughs> so to the man who didn't want to do that job. Okay. No word. All you had to do. Oh. All I had to do was. I wonder, I wonder how much they made. Go to the auction block. Word. But, but yo. That that's kind of wild though. I gotta you know, be honest. You know what I the, picture? The, the curious child. What? <laughs> you, you know that picture in my mind, just like the a white version of the. The the California love music video. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of Caucasians and Jeeps without shirts on, just with, <laughs> with bats, with spike bats <laughs> and leather and, and, and leather overall jumpsuits. Where they got ATVs. They oh, got let's talk about Tupac in the leather jumpsuit. <laughs> with, it wasn't even a jumpsuit. It was like a breast strap. No, I don't know what it was. Bro. With the spike bat. California, we're gonna see some fucking aliens, man. Bro. We're gonna keep down, down, down. Team America. Next thing you know, Area 51 really like the aliens base. That's <laughs> like their stuff. <separate. laughs> yeah. Get it in and they just all get abducted and shit. They shape shifters. They're like, oh, damn. They don't Where, <laughs> the military, like, the funny part is they think we control Area 51. <laughs> They're in for a surprise. They're in for a surprise. <laughs> Yo, the, the Secretary Force. of State about to be like, <laughs> what is it? The Defense Secretary gonna be like, Yo, it wasn't my idea. Word. <laughs> Word. Alien. <laughs> <laughs> what shall we do, Zordon? Yo, what if the aliens really did look like the dudes from um, Prometheus? Them like nine foot <laughs> Word. muscles the size of your body Word, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> and they the ones running area 51 like yo i swear it wants to be Word. they stomp you into the ground like whack-a-mole it's like dunk, dunk, dunk. they probably don't have to do nothing physical to touch you on the forehead and <laughs> for real <laughs> yeah. you you're like no, dude, please <laughs> nigga what the fuck and all of a sudden like <laughs> and um um uh, why did I draw a blank on the name of the movie? On Avengers, you just turn to dust and shit. I'm <laughs> and pixelated then, into the into the wind. <laughs> what what if like the aliens from that planet, like the useless ones or the ones that didn't properly develop their powers, mm. <laughs> they could only like touch niggas and make them like do a wave <laughs> or some dumb shit. Like ah, this niggas start doing the concert or something. <laughs> like ah, oh, you failed my family. <laughs> the other aliens making fun of him. <laughs> like, ah. Look at Zook Luke. Zook. Zook is all dumbass. Nigga, <laughs> niggas dance and shit. Nigga, I can dance. <laughs> I can't turn myself to dust. <laughs> oh, Zook. Look at, hey, everybody, let's point at Zook Luke and laugh while you walk by. Zook Luke. Nah, it's more like. Oh, meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, the nigga dancing to death. Like, I can't stop. <laughs> <stuff. laughs> What if Zook Luke is buddy from the videos? about <laughs> <laughs> that, that? Yeah, that, that narrows it down. Right? <laughs> <laughs> buddy who That's guest it. starred in Atlanta, who said that he was white, he was transracial. <laughs> A dude? Yeah, you, you didn't see that uh, episode of Atlanta where it was like a spinoff? Oh, and buddy with the dreads from the internet videos. I, can't, I wish I could look up his name. I'm gonna look up his name. <laughs> <laughs> He's the alien. He, he dances amazing for a guy that size. But anyway, we're not gonna go on another TVSG. Wild, Wild ass, ass tangent. tangent. Let's reel that shit right back. Word. Over we actually have Man. some 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 fuck shit to, to, to yeah, talk about. Yeah, because we completely overlooked how we just made a joke about how the government would just use this as an opportunity for population control. When when they are already doing that shit. Basically. To black and brown people. Talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Um namely to um today. Is it today? I think today I think it was. is the five year um anniversary 
of um, Eric Garner being murdered yes. by a, a, a group of policemen. Mm-hmm. And um, yesterday, they, um, was a, they made the decision not to indict any of the officers. Um, they're not even fired. They're like they're still out in the streets, yeah, working. collecting a paycheck. An illegal chokehold word was the, used. Word. The only person in in um in jail, and I'm I'm hearing that he might be in co- solitary confinement, is a person who took the video. Exactly. Yep. And how fuck, fucked up is that? That's cr- for leaking it and. Creating a mess, he's being punished. Mm. You know, that's the way I look at it. Mm. But like, let's take a moment to think about that. Exposing like, the truth. Those of you who haven't seen the video or who can't stomach it, I'll explain it to you. Eric Garner is verbally defending himself. A big, tall black man who still looks non-threatening to me in the video. Or he had, he had and, both and, his hands and, in and, the air the and whole time. He was literally just like, he was damn near pleading, like. I'm tired of this. Like mm. I'm, I'm tired. He was felt like he was being harassed. Mm. He was just in front of the store. And the whole reason that the cops were called, according to Eric Garner's mother, the whole reason that they were called in the first place was to um, arrest someone for selling loose cigarettes, Lucy's, you know, cigarettes out the pack. And because that's illegal to do that. And uh, they didn't find that. Mm-hmm. None of that was happening. So. They continued to harass him, and he defended him. He defended himself verbally. He was just, you know, saying, you know, I have a right to be here, essentially. And if you watch the video, the cops literally jumped him. The cop who, uh, who killed him, who murdered him, literally jumps on his back mm. and puts and administers a choke hold immediately. And he screamed, "I can't breathe," or said, "I can't breathe" as much as he could. 11 times and still no one let up Mm -hmm. so this is sad this is very serious like let's not get lost in like the argument or you know the the conversation a man is dead Mm -hmm. you know and uh because someone was uh, because a a officer that uh is paid by our by citizens taxes Mm -hmm. uh, what abuses power and um used unnecessary and excessive force mm. it's unfortunate and um and anyone can be ca- catch themselves the the perpetrator in that situation using excessive force because you didn't know how to control yourself or you he might have just been a racist mm. i don't i don't i'm not gonna i'm not gonna speak on that Word. and we already talked about um the police officers found on racist pages and stuff so mm. it's a racist culture man yeah and it's militarized i have all these all, all this equipment just to to um to serve a, a community like right they pretty much have like militarized style guns oh to, yeah to, to keep us safe you when, know what i mean when we were at fiu remember mm. the armory mm. they got ucf got a tank if i'm not mistaken mm-hmm. around Fucking that time or just a few years ago <laughs> well, in, ca- in case you win the national champion i could i could like, be wrong but they got some yeah. heavy artillery over at Flo- at FIU at the university that I went to mm. and um like you know machine guns dog no <laughs> for, for, let me not speak too much on it but I, oh she I, I, when I, Eric, Eric Garner's um mother um she was she was um she was doing an interview and she she said something pretty interesting mm-hmm. and I feel like it reveals <laughs> a lot what she says she says um initially that a specialist do the autopsy and the and his report or the well, specialist I, within the department yeah the specialist within the department um their report what um was that he was choked you know what i mean and you know yeah that she 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 gave a word for it. I, I i forgot what um what term she gave it but uh the term meaning he was you know choked like he was oh yeah okay so Damn. but then she says that they brought in another specialist from Missouri. Missouri. Missouri, of all places. You know what I'm saying? All the way to New York. Where, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, not even saying Missouri. We was fucking around. But, you know, they brought in... Missouri? Another, they brought in another mm-hmm. specialist to, to 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 come in. And she said she did. they didn't even look, like, at... The, like, the autopsy. Yeah. They yeah. just made just assumptions and opinions and stuff like that to contradict yeah. 
what the original mm-hmm. said. A paid professional. Wait, Another so paid specialist. Just, just to show you how unfair the game is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because once you get a degree in something, you're looked at as a, as a professional, as an mm-hmm. expert. Right. So they have these people with these degrees to come in and skew to say, hey, look, we have an expert that says X, Y, mm-hmm. and Z. But you know what I'm saying? And conflicting. But, Word and these are people that are using their expertise in a negative way for roach. You know what I'm saying for roach purposes in order to skew the system. Mm-hmm. So when you re- y'all realize like, how deep it runs and how unfair and how they use the system. And the reason they said that no indictment could be made was the the standard for um, for which the the charges are. It's it's too it's very difficult to prove or to. To, to to prove without a doubt. So but how how funny is that? Even the case that mm-hmm. this is the outcome just days before uh, the expiration of the statute of limitations on the case mm. on the crime. Mm-hmm. It's all tactics, man. Yeah, all tactics to uh, defer so that he's clear. And this officer is still on the streets. Yeah, he's still on the streets. Yeah, it feels completely justified. Um, in his actions, you know, and it's like, there's no, there's no type of justice. There's like, how do you feel? And it's like, it's not, it's not even like this is an isolated incident. You know what I'm saying? This is a, a whole, you know what I'm saying? We, we go back to Trayvon Martin, you know what I'm saying? We go back to Eric Gray, we go back, you, you, you can name Alton Sterling, you know what I'm saying? So many, so many different cases. And it's not even just cases so where, ones. um, people end up dying. You know what I'm saying? Even if you just get roughed up, that's a that's an officer abusing their power. Because a lot of times I see people, <clears throat> even when dealing with Eric Garner, it's like, don't these people have like tasers or mace or anything? Like that? None of that was needed. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? They didn't need Any an altercation at all. You know what I'm saying? So their their excuses was like, oh, as an altercation happened, da, da, da. like why was there altercation? Yeah. They, a, lot of, I, a lot of these times, these police. Instigate it, the violence. Themselves. Instigate the violence. Definitely. They they come so aggressive. I mean, mm. you could watch any... I mean, come on. The whole culture of it. You could watch any uh, police tape. You could watch cops. You know, if they bust up in the house, yes, we know there's a reason why you guys act that way. You know, like... But they burst in your house. They're screaming, get on the fucking ground. Shut the fuck up. They're mad disrespectful. Mm. You know, um, there, there's never, like, a proper assessment of things mm. it's just i'm a we're coming out guns blazing mm. get down lay down if someone gets taken down in during the fight you know casualties of war mm. and we move on and, and, and that's the attitude and the way they're able to do that is, is dehumanizing people mm-hmm. if you don't see these quote-unquote criminals that they're that they're going after as human you don't care about what they do, or you know what I'm saying? So, oh well, if he had to die, you know what I'm saying? He was just doing his job. He was like, you don't even see that person as a person. It used to be in the books that we're not full human. Exactly. Not, not what one a generation ago, two generations ago. Word. Not unless, even a unless, generation ago. Bro. And let, and let's let's talk about what they bust down doors for. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A lot of most of the time, it's not like some mass dastardly person planning violence and stuff yeah. like a lot of, a lot of times like all these terrorists uh, you why you don't hear about them busting down their door or nope. catching some shit before it happened nope. you know what i'm saying all these people shooting up schools and shit yeah. you know what i'm saying and and, uh, that's and pre- then you hear stories but uh, afterwards like how these were warning signs and then uh, none of their doors get kicked down yeah but you know what i'm saying a, a dude you 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 selling um dubs and and and, and ace out out your garage, they're gonna kick your door mm-hmm. down and, and and run up in your house and shoot your dog and you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Meanwhile, throw your Timmy, mom on the ground and all type of shit. Timmy yeah. has a whole legal arsenal and his dad's, right? <laughs> and his brothers, <laughs> right? At his disposal at any time. And um, I you know yeah, I, I I'm with you on that one, man. Like definitely you and can it, they well, don't call it domestic terrorism because you know it's their skin color that run the news and everything and that's cool not cool it is what it is <laughs> but <clears throat> they shit i lost myself no but the the, the, <laughs> fin- the finish the point i was making is like the reason the the general population at hand is not arms is because it's it's happening to us 
And for people, like, I feel like there's a culture in America to be like an us versus them. You see it in the movies, you see it in oh, the politics. In competition, in sports. In sports, everything that is like us versus them, you don't really it's care a where war they're, mentality. A war mentality, you don't care where they're where they're from, their story, none of that. Mm-hmm. They're the quote unquote bad guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like even in movies, like you could see like the the propaganda everywhere. Like it's always either a certain race of people that um the hero is gunning down. Yeah. People in turban turbans the hero's gunning down. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Certain shit that make you skewed to a certain culture oh yeah it trains your mind because that's what you think of when you think of you know the enemy mm-hmm. now and, and those are the images that you see typically so and know. that's a mentality that breeds a society where people can be detained at the border and separated from their families and have children and people just kept in cages and all kinds of shit in america yeah Land of the free, home of the brave, all that, all that fuck shit. Land of the free, home of the slave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like all, that, all this powerful good, all that propaganda they have on the mil- on on the on the military ads. You know, mm-hmm. come join the good guys. But you know what I'm saying? Shit going on in Sudan. And- yes. Yeah, I mean, going on within our borders, man. Look, mm-hmm. they still continue to hold. <clears throat> You know the the immigrants trying to pass mm. of within and the children within these horrible conditions. People are dying, uh, people are starving. Mm. Children are starving. Children, the, you know, they're shitting where they eat. You know, it's this is all like it's awful conditions. Kids don't have blankets. Kids don't have pillows. Mm. They arrested uh, the um, uh, wow. I'm gonna be off on this one, but a dude who was gonna run for president. They arrested him. Uh, for sitting outside uh, of one of the was it Beto uh, one of the refugee camps mm. oh um, yeah, yeah trying to give away goods yeah was his name I'm sorry <laughs> was it Beto that did it uh, it's one uh, it was one of them but a couple a lot of people got arrested doing the same thing trying to bring um, food and looks like blankets and so and like basic supplies like pe- people have arrested them. So it's like you see the disparity, and it's like, man, like, at what point, what do you think, you know, mm-hmm. will there be like a breaking point? It makes you want, yeah, because like you are that that's a clear indication of you know where the interest is in the powers that be, you know, clearly not there. You know, uh, they want to keep things a certain way, possibly. But yeah, what what is the breaking point? You know, what what is going to happen? Mm-hmm. Who knows? Because you know. Us, the people at large, are not the ones pulling the strings or necessarily in the know about everything. Mm. Uh, all we can do is watch, try to discern for ourselves, and um, you know, be into, you know read read a couple articles instead of just you know listening to something and mm. keep. All we can do individually is, I guess, keep ourselves informed mm-hmm. um, and and have our own opinions on it. And when time comes to express that, express it mm. uh, efficiently. True. 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 And with that, what we don't need, I guess, I mean, in small doses, but I feel like what they push hmm. up on our culture is what I call YWN. Young niggas wildin'. So, <laughs> Young niggas wildin'. Young niggas wildin'. YNW. So, huh? You said YWN. Well, wow. Wow. Young wild, no, young wild niggas. Hi. Oh, yeah. Uh, young, yeah. which one sound better? Young niggas wild and young wild niggas. I wrote down, that's why I put YWN, because I wrote down young wild niggas. Young wild niggas. Young wild niggas. But now that I've said young niggas, young, young niggas wild, I naturally just said that. So young maybe, niggas wild. Young niggas. Because it's like, these young niggas wild. These young Let niggas. Let me tell you something, something about yeah, these yeah. young niggas wild. Or, you know what I saw these young? Yeah, young niggas wild and yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. so brainstorm. Boom. <laughs> We're there. We're there. <laughs> We're there. So the um what's what's what's, what's, what's buddy's name? The the internet's the favorite, internet. you know, gang hand sign. Throw we upper. <laughs> well. Uh Tay K. If y'all remember this kid Tay K, he's nineteen years old now. I think he was sixteen when at the height of his internet fame. Um, he had that song called The Race, where 
that was also featured on Atlanta in the beginning. In the beginning of one of the episodes where a robbery actually occurs mm. at a at a fast food joint. Oh, I so remember it's, that. It's scene. accurate. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And motivation. Mm. So I mean, and it's unfortunate because like, uh, you know, I hear a song like that. Let me not even go off on that. But it's misguided, man. You mm. know, unfortunately, you know this this kid. He's 19 now. He was on the run in 2017. Uh, they were. He was suspected of two murders um, and robberies involved uh, within ro- yeah, two murders as a part of some robberies. Mm-hmm. And he some robberies that resulted in murders. In murders, yeah. Who? Yeah. Woo! Little, 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 yellow Woo! leather, yellow the drugs, leather. man. <laughs> 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 Just a pay, so you pay, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> PCP. <laughs> so you saying I can fly? <laughs> All right, now <nah. laughs> you took the movement right out of my mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, but nah, so basically, Tay K was on the run. His name's uh, Taymor Trayvon McIntyre, and um, he is. Dang, I had to. <laughs> he's on the run. Here's his entire government come. name. <laughs> no, he's not on the run now. <laughs> oh, he's done. in jail now. They caught him. <laughs> they caught him a little while ago. Because <laughs> the niggas like you giving out. Oh, him. yeah. Like, he was caught when he was, like, a whole underage child. He looks like an adult. Like, you know that, like, weird two-year from, like, 16 to 19? Two-year, wow. That 16 to 19 mm. uh, gap, like, you kind of change a lot. <laughs> word, word. Yeah, he's a little bigger now. And um, he pleaded guilty to the robberies. But not to the murders, saying that he didn't know, and one one in particular saying that he like he wasn't the one who pulled the trigger. He didn't know that a murder would have resulted in mm-hmm. the robbery and all that. So that oh, and that I, it wasn't premeditated. It type. was not premeditated exactly. Mm-hmm. Wow, really? Me with the birds today, <laughs> guys. Hey. Thank you, teacher. Hey. <laughs> Professor. Professor. But um, <laughs> but what, what 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 strikes me with this story is that like. I hear his following, like, get, he's garnered a lot of respect for the fact that he does what he raps about. That he's real. That he's quote unquote real. Quote, yeah. But um, mm-hmm. I, and I kind it kind of like throws things on his head because like before people were talking about how people were just rapping about a certain lifestyle that they weren't really living mm. and putting other people in danger, and um. And then not not respecting those people, but then you know the other side to that is like people giving respect to people doing certain things and rapping about them. Like nah, like the 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 aim yeah. is to to show you that like certain acts and stuff is isn't cool. You know what I mean? It's not you know what I mean. Ne- you know, gang membership to where you're harming other people and not you know uplifting your community isn't a cool thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, robbing people where you could have, you know, set shit up and 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 hustle and and do your own shit, mm-hmm. you know, isn't cool. You know what I'm saying? And 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 taking people life away ain't cool. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I feel like certain things. I mean, I guess it goes back to certain things that are, that that are glorified. Kind of like, mm-hmm. and I feel like I always felt like um, it's always pushed. Like that's the main thing push and like anything with a positive me- message has to like come from like the underground but like the <laughs> yeah the, the shit that's telling you to do drugs the shit that's telling you to rob niggas the shit that's telling women to strip the shit that's telling women to uh, you know be freaks and shit mm-hmm. that's the shit that gets pushed by like the main engines you know what i'm saying but right the shit that gives you like positive reinforcement like doesn't yep and it's pretty obvious and y'all could Argue with us all you want about that. Word, cause, but we cause ain't gonna when, budge. You, <laughs> yeah, when you say certain shit, people say you hating. Why you hating on people? Hey, hate like this. I hate like this whole hating because mm-hmm. it encompasses like there's a different. Hating hating. I'm hating on hating. That's what we go name the episode. Hating on hating because like hating there's on. a di- there's a difference between like not liking su- somebody's success for the fact of not ha- them having success. And being critical of people's content. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when 
people speak critically of other people's content. Oh, you hating, you hating. Like, no, there's like, be at a place where you could accept the truth from what they're saying, even Mm -hmm. though it's something you may not want to hear, even though it goes against, hey, we having fun, but you know. Some some people really do be hating. Mm -hmm. No, no no reason. And sometimes it's hard to tell the difference because some haters are really good at excusing their hate Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, pointing out certain things. Or even using, you know, reasonable, reasonable reasons. (laughs) Reasonable reasons. (laughs) (laughs) That's the remix. (laughs) 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 Let them crew to. (laughs) We didn't warm up Mm. uh, the sing boxes today. But we're going to keep it going. The reasonable. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I can't I need, hit that note, man. <laughs> yeah, I need one of them things that keep the beat. What are they called? The, oh, uh, the metronome. The met- yeah. If I don't have one of those, no. The ticky tacky. The ticky tacky. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um, yeah, that you know, aggressive. You know, I'm a kill. I'm a rob, and I don't. I I do whatever I want. That lawless, um, culture is definitely supported a lot by the masses sometimes it's just a lot of angry you know young adolescent immature people Mm. you know not there yet and you know because when you don't have an outlet for your anger it's always directed into something that can uh cause chaos Mm. always it's you know it always makes a mess whenever you don't have direction for your anger um so yeah, then there's millions of people in the world that relate to it. So, and I'm not gonna lie, the song sounds good. Unfortunately, sonically, it sounds good, and he's not the worst. He wasn't the worst 16 year old rapper you've heard. Mm. So, all that together with those famous signs of his is just it's 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 it's, it's just a recipe, man. And it's sad because like we support like the kid they don't even got facial hair, bro. Mm. Like he's he's a he's a child. Word. You know, he like when he becomes, you know, Lord willing, he makes it to, you know, 25 or something. Mm. He would be a completely different person, possibly, you know, Word. like that. And you were, the world is supporting and judging this mm. adolescent version of you. Um, okay. And a lot of grown ups the same because oh. I listen the hip hop outlets are guilty of it, too. The way mm. they compliment mm. those things. It's like it's yeah, he has a certain finesse about him, which is mm. true. So I'm not taking that away. He's a he's a charismatic young black boy, but you know you you're not giving him a chance to actually be like a stand up, mm-hmm. you know, value driven, you know, person of the you know st- charismatic black boy. Mm-hmm. You know he can that can be put into some positive energy. Word. And those media outlets that say and you know we love Tay K for this and that and like mm. I, I just even they validate the yeah, negativity. Yeah, super validate his negativity, mm. and it's unfortunate. But you know sometimes it still all goes down to who you have exactly you know right around immediately around you as well. Word. So I, I, we were having a discussion before, and um, it we we're saying that it's hard for um you know even people like at that age to really like get out of that. Or even think outside of that lifestyle because the people, even the people around you, validate you for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, there might be some some people around you that that respect respect you for the fact that you sell drugs or you do some side of dirt. You know what I'm saying? They see you as a quote unquote real nigga for it. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. You know what I'm saying there might be women around you that's attracted to you because you do this and you do that. So it's like if that's your world. It's it's difficult to see outside of that. You know what I'm saying? To see, the, oh yeah, the difference in 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 people. But then it's like when you elevate to a certain, the different, you know, just around different people, around different, um, just levels of success or just like, you know what I mean. It's up to the person to step out individually though word, to see word, something new. Word, like you and, have to do it on your own. Word, and you see that people. Val- like the pe- the things that you value aren't real in the real world. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody, you go out into this world of business, nobody gives a fuck how real you are in the streets. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Certain certain areas, nobody like gives a fuck like how well you can fight or who who you who you did what you did like back in 
whatever time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter in the real world. You know what I mean? So, it's like like that growing up. You know what I'm saying? That, and you don't then, realize that till you have a chance to get that, that, to that point, though. But, but then by, by the time that happens, like, a lot of people are caught up. Oh, yeah. Especially, like, in situations where you 15, 16, and the culture around you, the music around you, especially the shit that they push upon you, yeah, kind of validates that shit. What you're doing. What you're doing. That before, adolescent before, shit. Word. <laughs> and before before you get a, a chance, you're already like in the system. You you're either in the system, cycle. you got somebody pregnant, mm-hmm. you do something. Word. Something. Word. Or, you know, God forbid you lose your life. It Word. Happens. It's like, you don't, the impact is, is crazy. So, I feel like that's like, I feel like stuff along those lines, like that's what kind of Jermaine Dupri was trying to say, in a way. Oh, the point he was trying to make about yeah, but uh, in a very you know, female rappers in yeah, the game right now. In a very non, it was not articulate. Like I don't think it was articulated well. Where as as uh, what what he should have done instead of put down people, he should have just like yo, listen to so and so and so and so and so and so. Because to me, if you're listening for it, you'll find it. From for me, I thought he was beginning this, his statement. Yeah. Because that would have been fine to start his statement off with yeah. and say, you know, because th- he made it seem like there are zero mm-hmm. female rappers mm-hmm. with, you know, different content, which Word. is not true. Word. Like, we have Rhapsody, we have Jean Grey, we have Dreezy, mm-hmm. we have, and I'm and I'm missing so many names Tink, right we now. Have, Tink. Um, um, there's a couple of new female rappers right now. There's female mm-hmm. rappers in the UK killing it right now. Mm-hmm. So like he either he made him if that I don't know if that was an edited clip, you mm-hmm. know, because we're I did watch the whole thing, but it seemed like that was entire statement because the interview had like moved or the conversation moved on from that. Yeah. So maybe he didn't have a chance to make his point further as well, but yeah. it didn't seem that way. He seemed mm. finished with it. Yeah. And that's unfortunate because like now. There's so many people who will listen to what Jermaine Dupri says. I'm talking about like older mm. people now, you know, mm. like our parents or mm. people our parents' age who, mm. you know, grew up in this country. Mm. Oh, Jermaine Dupri, yeah, like whatever he, like, because he had an empire at one time. Word, you know? and they'd be like, oh, yeah, so, there's no one that's completely dismiss the people that he's saying, he's saying doesn't exist. Exactly. By saying they don't exist, you're, you're furthering. Like, people not looking for them, but they're out there. And part of his statement was false because uh, he might have just only been talking about, like, one or two people because mm. Megan Thee Stallion be rapping the ass off. Yeah, she be rapping about stripping. And uh, also another another argument is that um, they're just doing what the guys have been doing the whole time, but from a woman's perspective, you know, mm. that version of it. and um, Which is what we're talking about, too. Which is also what we're talking about yeah. because it still perpetuates a culture and a lifestyle that, you know, at the core of our values, we don't really agree with. Mm. Um, however, you know, the, like, it, it, you can't go out there and make... That was such a, like, a an unfinished statement to me. Mm. Like, mm. Megan Thee Stallion is a rap. The first time I heard her, mm. like, all I saw was neck up. She was freestyling. You know, you're not thinking about that. Mm. And um, but she was still spitting, and mm. she's still spitting when she rapping about stripping and everything too. Right. And I'm pretty sure she writes her own shit. Mm. So, I don't know Jermaine Dupri, dog. I mean, <laughs> right. but then to 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 expound that point, dog. Like, yeah, it's 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 the same thing, but it's 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 still not. I, I, what it, what it is? It's not knocking the content. What 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 I what I'm worried about is the push. You know what I'm saying, like I say, like you can have um, peep artists like a Lauren Hill, or you know the 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 J Coles, the Kendricks, the the Big Crits, the Side High the Prince, the Jaden the Jadenas, the the uh, you know what I'm saying yeah. the rap cities the, mm-hmm. the you know what I'm saying the you have them out there mm-hmm. but it's like you you just feel like every time you read up you pick up a magazine or you read you, you open up a blogs you open up Snapchat you open up Twitter like all the major you know shit that pretty much propel shit mm-hmm. it's always talking about new rapper little. Xanax or <laughs> fire. You, you sound know, like fire. somebody 
But, but, <laughs> yeah, Xanax. You know what I'm saying? He's a little Xan. Well, oh yeah, true. But you know what I'm saying? But he's like, a goofy ass. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Funny. It'll he's be it, it'll always be the same type of person, you know, super druggy, um, you know, type and some of them evolved to be kind of good artists, but a lot of them... Really oh, they're moving away from the drugs as much now. Mm. Now it's more just like gang shit. Mm. You know, more of that. Right. You know, and it's hard to tell who's a plant. <laughs> right. Who's not, but like... But then some of it sounds good. Right. <laughs> I'm going to just close with this, dog. Cause yeah. Like, I see... Because you people always say, oh, it's just music, da, da, da. And like, yeah, us as grown people, we can laugh and key key at the bullshit. Mm. But then... what? It's, it's the people who are, you know, following this lifestyle. kids living by that. Living by it, dog. They're literally, they following that shit. They go to school the next Word. day Word. and want to do some shit they heard in a song. Word. I was never that nigga, and I was listening to Eminem in sixth grade. Word, but, but look, <laughs> I, went, I went to high school between 04 and 08, right? Back then, that was like the- Dated yourself. True. But that was like the, the crunk <laughs> era. That was, yeah. the, that was the I'm a goon. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody wanted to be hard. Er, yeah, you know what Lil I'm saying? Lil Wayne was at the height. Fit, yo, fit, get rich or die trying. You know what I'm saying? Even Miami out. music, dog. Like, it, it, everything was like Jeezy. Everything was Rick just Ross like, was out. Rick Ross. Like, just came out. I mean. Just came out. Niggas, I was on, on, on some more. Trick Daddy was just kind of like declining ish. Word, word. Sure. But so, like, but right, like, you, you had know, all Rick the Ross Miami came and, music. You had the. You know what I'm saying? My we Ice over bird. here. I'm I'm. You know what I'm saying? My side versus your side. Pick a low. Where so <laughs> sorry. So sorry. yeah, we just running <laughs> down. But the point is to say, like I I literally like see. I usually saw people who otherwise would have no content, no contact with that with that lifestyle. Mm. Go out of their way to um to get into contact with that lifestyle mm. to live that life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Out of their way, you know what I'm and saying? not know the consequences of word. What you're doing. I'm like, so, bro, like if if you gotta drive more than ten miles to to get some dope, bro, you like you shouldn't have even been in that. <laughs> you should have left that alone, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, anyway, man. people gonna do what they wanna do and believe in what they wanna believe in. Mm. So what we are saying is, raise your kids, damn it. Word, you let's, mother. Let's, your mama ain't shit. Your them. daddy ain't shit. Yeah. Word to Denzel Curry. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Seriously. Hey, shout out Denzel Curry. Hold up, man. Shout out the home team mm. from 305, from Miami, from Carroll City. That boy Denzel Aquarius Killer Curry done Ooh. made it to Jimmy Fallon tonight last night, man. Ooh. Rocking the fresh low boy. Ooh. Home team. Shout out. Shout out to Mark, man. C9 forever. Shout yeah. out Jay Nix, man. Shout out Fresh James. I mean, AKA, I ain't gonna say your government name. I don't know <laughs> if you want me to say that. God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think, man. is it time for the extra duction? It might be time for the extra duction because I'm over here cracking knuckles and yawning. Word. So uh, you are. Get out my house. Word. That's who I am. Word. Get out my motherfucking house. Now, it's your boy, I seen Black, AKA Black Dynamite, AKA Way Bixby, AKA Samurai Black, AKA Always Bet on Black, AKA. Holy Puckaroaches, a.k.a. Shabby Ranks, a.k.a. Swiss Army Nigga, 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 Swiss, 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 um, Swiss, Swiss. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Woo, this is Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Twinkle Toes, a.k.a. Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. Sir Black Silent III, a.k.a. I know I said that twice, <laughs> a.k.a. AKA Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. Gary Indiana Jones, a.k.a. A. No more AK. Hey, stop, stop the violence. And that's an episode. See y'all next week. Once again, tune in for next week. It's Shaq, bitch. (laughs) 